Good morning, folks. High Desert Lightning returned to the New Valley of the Sun last night, put on a nice little show before finally delivering some rain to the western mesa, even if it only lasted a few minutes. Bit more heat and we'll get those step leaders followed by ground-to-sky strike backs. Let's come now over to our star in 171 angstroms. We're going to watch the annihilation of a coronal hole today, peek back in on Rosetta's Comet 67P, run down some climate points and more, but let's begin over at spaceweathernews.com. We're finding a not-so-calm center of the Earth-facing disk. Wait for it. Like Rice Krispies, snap, crackle, pop, but wholly contained within the corona. The event didn't do much with the solar flaring, and indeed we are still in low range. But watch now more closely at the coronal hole next to the burst. While no CME came out, the burst cannibalized the coronal hole, and it is gone. I am actually not sure what this means for the incoming solar wind. I've been expecting the leading edge of the stream to impact tomorrow night, but Corona Hole ended up turning slower than I anticipated and may not hit us at all now. By the way, it also nearly erased the sunspots near there. Anyway, to the comet we go. Simple conclusion that will raise more questions. Vastly higher O2 content, as in the stuff we breathe, amidst the high water content around the comet much, much higher than previously reported results here in the new analysis. Up next is the May U.S. climate report, and well, you can see there is a good mix of hot and cold being above or below average in different areas, precipitation bottom right as well. It was much cooler of a month in general, in fact this month nearly hit the average U.S. temperatures right on the nose, been a couple years since they've not posted a red national summary graphic. Up next, we've got two papers about the greenhouse effect. Both are epic. Both are must-reads for anyone who gives a shilling about the climate. And these follow our many discussions breaking down why physicists don't love the greenhouse gas model, just climate scientists looking for grant money. Seriously, read those. The weather and how it's really changing compared to the mainstream propaganda. Space weather and human health. The collapse of Earth's magnetic protection. All to be major topics at the upcoming Observing the Frontier 2018, where attendees wear both blue and white collars, where alphabet groups come and watch sitting next to Masons and Knights of Columbus. Always, it really is a heck of a place to be. Remember, folks, we're giving away two tickets, three nights hotel stay, and a $200 travel voucher to one lucky website member at suspiciousobservers.org on June 15th. You must have logged into the site and been active at least once in the last month to get in the drawing. One of my talks, by the way, is about the end of the world as we know it. We've got wind maps, null school service analysis, and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 5.45 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.